I have a confession. Even with my sticky note, I still forget to move my damn microphone. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Old Lady Plays uh, suggests that I actually put something like on my monitor. Maybe. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know. Um, oh, the beard's a little unkempt today. Um, it's Sunday. I'm waiting on my new freezer to get delivered uh, that went out last week and we had to buy. Oh, God. All right. Well, I had to scrap episode 33. We're re recording episode 33. So let's go get you caught up on everything that's happened because, you know, we've missed quite a few games now. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 33 of our Football Manager Journeyman. Please hit that like button if you like what I'm doing. That's how I ask you to support the channel. Subscribe if you're new and push that little bell for notifications for daily Football Manager content here on the channel. So, after last uh, episode that you guys saw, uh, where we beat Bristol City in the FA Cup quarterfinals, we did lose two consecutive league matches, 1-0 to Cardiff and a similar score, 1-0 to Newcastle. At that point, I changed back to our three-back set from earlier this season and last year. Uh, we beat Newcastle 3-1 in the home leg of the Euro Cup quarterfinals, Graves, Wheel, and Noel Mark with goals there. Two of the three goals coming in the final four minutes of the match. We would then beat Bristol City 4-2, to two. Mark with a brace, Mensa and Vitor with goals. Then we would beat Newcastle going away, four goals from Noel Mark in the away leg making it 7-2 to two on aggregate, and that's why I didn't feel bad about scrapping the episode because very similar to that second, uh, you know, the demolition against Salzburg, uh, we completely destroyed Newcastle here in the Euro Cups. One other thing that happened in the Euro Cups here is with the four goals, we have now gotten to 44 goals, I believe, uh, 45 goals. And the old Euro Cup record for most goals in a tournament was by Arsenal with 40. So we have smashed that. And of course, two more legs to play at a minimum. So today we're going to play Man City. We are going to uh, we're going to do two matches. But what we're going to do is Man City live. We will play. We've drawn Gijon in the Euro Cup semifinals. So we'll check out highlights from that match. We will go over the results of the Brentford and Rotherham scores, but no highlights. And then we will play a second match today against Gijon uh, here in the Euro Cup semifinals. And then hopefully uh, we will have an FA Cup final and a Euro Cup final at some point in the future. We also have the run-in. Uh, the season finale against Man United could be a big deal, but one thing that you guys missed, let me go see if I can find it. This is what I wanted you to see. I wanted I had to go back and find it. So um, Brent, we play uh, not, a, not a hard run-in at all. A lot of second half, uh, second half of the table clubs. And then the season finale against United could be huge. But looking at... Uh, Man United, uh, they have all three of the top four clubs that they have to play, and then Everton, who just got relegated, uh, Man City taking on Man United, uh, and then Liverpool West Brom. So they have a little bit easier run in, and possibly Arsenal has the easiest run in. But because United has to play everybody, that could be to our benefit because we have a five point advantage and a game in hand on Man City, and a five-point advantage with no games in hand against Arsenal, but only a one-point advantage with a game in hand against United. But we've been kind of hit and miss here in the league uh, with all these uh, cup fixtures going on. So anyway, we do play Man City today. This is in the FA Cup, so let's take a look at that. We're going to go with Solis in goal, a back four of McNeil, Hildon, Fowler, and Licka. 
Jasufi and Felipe in the mid, Baffer and Romain on the wings, Graves and Mark up top. And this is only a one leg affair. So that is, uh, hopefully we can make that work out to our advantage. We're calling it for the fans. We are in Wembley. It looks to be a mostly sold out affair. It looks like some seats up here in the upper portions uh, are not filled in. Although that could just be stairs. Who knows? Certainly the lower half of the bowl is, uh, is filled in. And we will do our traditional start with a shout of encouragement. We're in red. Man City in their blue kits. And he runs all the way around. What a save by Solis. Carps or Carpez made the turn. Really made us look bad there, to be fair. That one gets headed over, but again, they're getting free to get to the ball. Salvareza lumps it out. Oh, and McNeil misplays it. Amako is over. Doyle is there, and oh my God, Licka left too much space, and Doyle has put in his 25th of the season. Mm. Well, I went into the tactic just to double check a few things. All right, Romaine. Now, we know Romaine is dangerous on these set pieces. This is right on the edge of the box, and he puts it in his 10th of the season. He is not a huge goal scorer, mostly an assist man, but he did just get his bonus for his 15th league assist of the season, and that is one thing he brings to the table. Oh, and there's a beautiful equalizer. Long stretch of no highlights here into the 28th minute. Uh, let's demand more. Six shots for us, six shots for Man City. Everything else is pretty even. And that goes all the way to halftime without another highlight. That was a long stretch. Pretty evenly matched nothingness. Let's hit the dressing room. Pleased with how things are going. We do have a couple of guys not playing great. 6-4 for Felipe. 6-4 for Baffer. Who is this? Oh, that's the referee. I was like, he doesn't have a name. What's he doing? Because he ran away from the ball and he looked like one of our players. And I was like, what the hell? Oh, there's a nice deflection. Graves cannot get to it. Oh, my God. He just got outpaced by whoever that center back is. That's that's troubling. <laughs> I would expect my strikers to be on par with anybody. Licka just gets done by Doyle. Crossed in, and it's headed over by Amako. All right, let's uh, encourage him again. So Lee takes the big run up to make it look like he's going to do something, and then he just taps it. They were looking for Graves on the through ball. Nothing happening there. Come on. Oh, McNeil just goes for it, and he gets laid out. Good deflection by Felipe coming back to provide cover. Uh, Graves chest it down. He's on to it. He finds Mark. Mark lays it off. Baffer takes a crack, and it's in his 11th of the season, and we have taken a 2-1 to -one lead. All right, we're going to pop into the tactic again. And I think as, off, as often as we are showing pretty evenly matched here, we're going to slow the pace down. Oh, that's good. Very, very good there. And then they get a set piece. Braz pinning. It's headed, and oh, it just barely went over. We got lucky there. All right, we are into subbage time. It's just Sufi who is tired. Let's, you know, I usually play Mapasi here, but let's give Luke Rowe a run. I think he's got something in him. Let's encourage him again. All right, let's go ahead and pull another sub. It's going to be Romaine. Let's bring on Pascarello this time. 
And Felipe is tired, so we'll bring him off. But let's see if he can go a little bit farther. And it's going to be McNeil. Fourth row. There's Rowe. Out to McNeil. Oh, they took a crack. Felipe from the edge of the box. There's a cross, and it's Pascarello. He puts it in. The sub makes it 3-1, and we are going to go ahead and make that last sub here. Do I bring? I'm going to bring off the midfielder. Let's bring on Mapasi in the mid just to solidify some fresh legs defensively. Also, you know what I'm going to try? Don't usually do this, but in the attack, let's play for set pieces, right? Because then we can hold things up a little bit. All right, Doyle, Licka with the tackle. It goes out of play. Three to one in the 80th minute. We have broken it open late. We're into four minutes of stoppage time. I think we're into the final, boys. They get one last crack. Oh my God, that guy came running in out of nowhere with a header, but it goes wide. And we're going to sit on that. And there is a full-time win. Leicester 3, Man City 1. 12 of our 17 shots on target. Definitely going with the outstretched arms. Fire up the boys. And let's go see who we will be playing in Wembley in the final. Bristol City beat Arsenal 3-2. They're 13th in the table, so that will be our opponent, I believe. We get 2.7 million for that, and it's Burnley. All right. So that's good. But, and it, So it wasn't who we thought it was. Burnley is fifth in the league. Let's finish out the day here, and that will be in the final match of the season, at least as of right now. All right, let me get Brentford played, and then we'll be back. Uh, we'll show Gijon highlights for the first leg, and don't forget, we do have a second match this episode against Gijon in the away leg. Got a lot to do. Let me get to it. I'll be right back. All right, here's highlights from the opening match with Gijon. In the 15th minute, Mapasi starts it off with a throw in. Romain tries to thread it through. Jasufi gets a rebound, and that is a beautiful goal from the edge of the box. Jasufi starts off the next highlight with a pass into Romain, and he finishes strong, and that makes it 2 0 just before the half. In the 77th minute, Carlos Vitor out wide, crosses it into Cesar, and we started him in this match. We also are playing him in his preferred position, uh, deep lying forward on attack because it's a promise. Gerver gets played out, and it's Prescott beating Solis, making it 3-1, to one, but that would be the final score. 28 shots to 7, and we win the first leg very handily. Jumping over real quick to league action. We had a 1-1 draw with Brentford. Pascarello scored in that one. That's my concern. If we're going for this silverware, we may end up letting some points slip here. Brentford and Rotherham were two, the two matches I think we needed to win to really keep things alive. We have actually fallen a point behind United uh, with a game in hand still. But the lack of draws is, is really troubling. Uh, I would rather have nine draws and two defeats. But, uh, but uh, I, I'd rather have the wins than the draws as well. So I guess everything being equal. We have qualified for the Euro Cup next year with guaranteeing at least a top four finish, which would be a new club best. Fifth was where we finished last year. And yeah, so... That's good. All right, we have Rotherham in four more days. We'll just give highlights from that one. Well, actually, we won't even do highlights. Some real positive news. Arsenal beat Man United 4-0 a couple of days ago in the interim between matches. So that helps us out immensely. And we're playing Rotherham. It gets into the middle there, and I believe that was Noel Mark. It was. Baffer with the assist made it 1-0. And it was a tight game here until the 71st minute. 
Romain into Mark. He beats the keeper, Marcio Antonio, 2-0, probably sealing the game, but Rotherham is tough. Baffer crosses it in. It falls to Mark. Birch just let it fall in, and there is the hat trick, making it 3-0. And Romain to the back post, and it's Pascarello with the goal, making it 4-0. We completely blew it open in the second half. And 4-0 lead there. Uh, Rothram's uh, Adadej Ferraro uh, looks like he may have had a broken ankle in that one. Uh, We qualify for Champions League next year. And the initial budgets come in $101 million on the transfer and $14 million on the payroll. The scary thing is we've improved. We're now an established Premier League side. We've qualified for Champions League. We're in running for silverware this year. In all likelihood, under my Bielsa philosophy, this is my last year at Leicester with everything we have accomplished. Uh, Three goals for Mark in this one. That is huge. Another man of the match. He's actually on the verge of a new, I don't know if it's club or league record for man of the match. He's probably going to win Euro player of the season. Taking a look at the competitions, we are two points up on United after their loss to Arsenal. Arsenal is within three points of us with that win, but we have a game in hand on both of them. Three matches left to play. Palace, Middlesbrough, and then that finale against United. That's going to be a huge one, I think, but we've got Gijon coming up right now. So coming into this match, you see we have the 3-1 advantage over Gijon and uh, Juventus and Standard Liège are even at one. So those will be the two clubs that we will likely be competing against. A 30,000 sold out capacity. We're going to go with Solis in goal, a back three of Hilden, Licka, and Fowler. Uh, Wheel, is that really who I want there? Hold on, let me me think about that. Yep, back three of Hilden, Licka, and Fowler. Wheel, Mapasi, Jasufi, and Mensa in the mid. Felipe moves up into the attacking mid. Graves and Mark as our strike partnership. I've played Cesar a couple of matches, but we're going to bring Graves back in here. They have both had huge seasons. Ooh, demotivated. All right, he didn't like that. We are going to encourage them. Our standard go-to. And there is a foul on us. So it'll be Gijon taking the set piece, and they sail it over the bar. That was not much of a threat. But another set piece highlight, and that goes back post, and that would have been in the net. I don't think Solis had a prayer at that one, but it goes wide as well. All right, now what can we do? We've got a highlight here, it appears. Felipe, up to Mark, back to Jasufi. Uh, he loses it, but gets back on the ball. Over to Mapasi. Felipe, Graves. Graves loses it, and they've got a counter opportunity here. Rosamiro goes down the left flank. Lick a tracking back. Defense is there. Oh, the cross into Prescott at the edge of the six, and Hilden can't do anything with it. 36th goal of the season makes it 1-0, and we have a 3-2 advantage. Now, the bad problem is they did get the away goal, so if we end up equal right now, uh, if they can score again, we will need an away goal to stay in the running here. Felipe is into the box, and poor finish. Poor finish. Let's give him some more encouragement. All right, Mapasi. There's Mark. He turns. It's tackled away. Felipe can't get to it. And there's Maha. Moha making the run after getting the interception. Licka heads it out. Felipe runs onto it. Now we've got a counter opportunity. Play it through. 
Oh, Mark was looking for the run there. It's out to Josh Wheel. Crossed in. Graves at the near post is saved by the keeper. And then Mapasi sits on it too long. And we've got a three on two. Licka makes the defensive stop. Oh, boy. All right, Felipe. Mapasi. Back into Felipe. He takes a crack. Nothing there for him. Menza resets. Oh, a little heel kick. There's a through ball, and it's Noel Mark, his 49th of the season. Can he get to 50 goals on the year? I don't think that's I think that's guaranteed at this point, barring an injury. 49 goals. Boy, we have had some successful runs here. Still looking at somebody to come in and, and do as good as uh, our FM18 player that had some 60-goal seasons. Yusufi can't beat Prescott to it. We are just not showing a lot of uh, oomph in getting to the ball. Oh, that... All right, that makes it 4-3 on aggregate, but we have the one away goal, which is what they had. So right now, you know, they still need... I mean, we would go to what? Extra time? All right, that's not good. Come on, boys. Let's demand more. Going to make a couple of adjustments, drop back just a little bit, use tighter marking. Oh, my God, what a finish by Rosamiro, his 15th. And I don't know what we could have done there. And now we are equal on aggregate. Three to one to Gijan. That's not good. All right, well, there go the tactical changes. Let's see what that does for us. Three minutes of stoppage time. And I think I'm going to have to lay into them here in the, in the locker room. I'm going to go, no. Nah. I'm far from pleased what I just saw. So they're motivated. We've got one player nervous. The Sufi. I mean, ratings aren't horrible. Mapasi, you know what? I'm going to sub him off early. Let's bring on, let's drop Felipe back into that role. And I'm going to bring Josh Wheel up into that role. And let's bring Baffer in on the wing. So we'll rotate two players around. There's a nice ball. Mark, uh, it took a little deflection, but he gets his 50th goal and makes it 3-2 and puts us back up 5-4 on aggregate. And that gives us two away goals, does it not? That gives us the 2-1 advantage in away goals. So I believe it does go to away goals. So they need two more goals. They need to beat us completely outright, I think, at this point. So that's a huge goal there. That's a huge goal. All right, come on, come on. Encourage. Baffer. No, nothing there. Back to the keeper. Oh, look at the nice little header out the Damborg. Over to Moha. Felipe tracking back. <clears throat> Great defensive stop there. And it's out. Wheel. Can he get to it? He does. It's through to Mark. Mark's into the box. He takes a crack. Nothing really there. All right, let's uh let's go ahead and pull off uh Jasufi. Let's bring Luke Rowe on. Uh, do I want to do that? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop Wheel back there, and then we'll bring on Cesar. He doesn't like playing there, but that's it's it's a good position for him. All right, come on. No. We're gonna go demand more. Oh, there's some good passing. Felipe now. Over to Wheel. Cesar. Oh, he he hits it right to Berto. Oh, that was a horrible ball. And I guarantee if we would have done what that what just happened there. That would have been a turnover. 
And Licka takes him down in the box. Oh, come on. You know that's going to be a penalty. Prescott lines up, and he just puts it in. No shot. All right, so we're 4-2, 5-5 on aggregate. We have the two away goals. They only had one. So I think they need to score again, or we win on away goals, I think. But I'd rather score. Oh, my God, and they have just... Oh, look at Prescott just do our entire back line. Oh, my God. All right. Um, all right, we're going there. All right, give me a minute. All right, these are the moves we're going to make. We're going to go to our 4-2-4. Uh, we're going to move Cesar up top. Graves is going to go to the bench. Uh, Wheel's going to drop back to left back. Uh, Rose going to come in in the midfield and swap places with Felipe. And Lick is going to move over to right back. I think that's all we're going to be able to do. I would like to bring Hildon. Well, no, I don't. But that's what we're going to do there. Oh, my God. I don't need to see that again. Yes, proceed with the tactical. And let's demand more. All right, Licka actually hits Mark. Felipe, over the top. There's a header. It's to, Oh, what a finish by Baffer. Oh, my God. That was an impossible angle right on the line. And somehow he gets it in behind the keeper. It's 5-3, to three, but we are now equal 6-6 six, six on aggregate. 3-1 on away goals, if that matters. I hope to God it does. And he banks it off of both bars across the line. Oh, my goodness. We're in the 85th minute. Baffer's on it. Oh, and that was poor. Up to Mark. Mark's through to Cesar. It gets deflected, I thought. I thought that was a corner. They just went to a 4-3-3. Five minutes of stoppage time. There's Rowe. Oh, no, they get the ball, a turnover. Lick is out of position, so he drops into the mid, and Solis lays out for that save to cut it across. Prescott was running into the middle. There's a flick on. Cesar can't get to it. Oh, come on. Please tell me away goals matter here. Please, oh, don't play it back to him now. There's Prescott was pushing forward. All right, there's Baffer. Can we steal something here? It's across to Menza. To the touchline. Near post. Two shots. Mark gets the second opportunity, and that's number 51. He's got a hat trick in this one, and we're now 5-4 down, but up 7-6 on aggregate, and I don't think away goals are going to matter now. Oh my God, have we pulled this one out of the bag. Mark just fighting to stay alive on that ball. Second and third opportunity. Oh, and that is huge. 7-6 on aggregate. 34 shots for us today. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we'll do that. Try to build them up. Wasn't the best game. But Gijon certainly played well. Oh, that was huge. So we'll be going to Ernst Happel Stadium. Where is this at? Vienna, Austria. Cool. Oh, man. 2.82 million. Mark with a hat trick. And we will play standard Liege in the final. So let's go here and let's look at the semis. So it was a 2-2 draw. 3-3 three, three on aggregate and standard one, so it was away goals. We would have won anyway, but it's nice to know that we earned it. 
and didn't have to settle for away goals, even with the loss. Oh, man, what a game. Oh, okay, so let's take a look at what we're doing here. So we have two finals. We have the season finale against United, and then Palace and Middlesbrough. We're up two with a game in hand. So we have nine points left. Let me try to do math here. So if we win our game in hand, that gives us a five-point advantage with two to play. So then any combination of a win or both of us drawing, us and United, possibly Arsenal, depending on what they do in the next game, then we can actually clinch, I believe, if we both win or we both draw. Us drawing and them winning doesn't help us because that puts us even. But I'm talking about our, our in-hand game. If we can win that, then I think any combination of equal results, if we win, we would clinch outright if we draw and united draws then they would clinch so i'm gonna play crystal palace i tell you what do y'all want to see the score before we leave why don't we do that not going to show highlights just the score so we know what we've got be right back okay we gave cesar the start he scored two goals in in one minute and we won over Crystal Palace 2 to 1. Man United got a win in their last match and Arsenal got took a loss. That must have been head to head, right? So we are 2 points clear of United with a game in hand. They only have one match left. We have two. So we are when do they play? They, they've got to play that the last game of the last date of the season, right? And then they go to the Champions League final. So they're on the 19th. We play on the 19th against them, duh, and we play Middlesbrough. Okay, let's do math. So not counting theirs. If we get a win, then we are, we're two points up right now. We're even on goal differential. So if we win, oh, I guess I need to show you guys. So we won two to one. I think I just showed you that. So if we win our game in hand, we clinch. No matter what happens against them, because we would then be up five. The most they can make up is three. If we draw, then we're up three, even goal differential. But if they beat us head to head, then they would win on goal differential. A draw, we would we would still win against them if we're even. No, a no. So if we win or draw, then a draw against United is all we would need. Yeah, because we would be three up, three points up. They would have we they need us to have a draw, and then they would need to beat us outright by any margin, but a win we clinch. So we have to come back next episode for Middlesbrough. So we're going to come right back for Middlesbrough. We're, so we're going to have two episodes. We're going to play Middlesbrough and then United, both games. That'll be for the league title. And then we'll have two matches, Burnley and Standard Liege, in the following episode uh, for Silverware in the FA Cup and the Euro Cup. So. A lot of activity going on in the next two matches. Make sure you buckle in and come back for that. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on daily football manager content here on the channel. And we'll see you.